Good evening, guys. It was right here yesterday evening when people were crossing across the street to go to that game at the stadium when a speeding car plowed into several pedestrians and then just kept going. And then things took an even weirder twist because we're told one of those victims ended up inside the vehicle. It was hard because it could happen to anybody. A bizarre moment Tuesday night outside the Sox Stadium as witnesses watched in horror as a car ploughed into four pedestrians at 35th and Shields. The guy was coming through here high speed, um, went around the um, traffic guards and went around on the sidewalk and hit the people and bodies going flying up in the air and the body scattered on the street and sidewalk. The vehicle then simply sped off without stopping. There was a little boy over here. He was crying and just traumatized. Everybody was just so emotional and traumatized by it. But the car also took one of the victims with it. The fourth victim, after being struck by the vehicle, actually flipped it and landed inside the sunroof. That pedestrian, we're told, was somehow thrown through the sunroof and taken on a joyride down the Dan Ryan. He was in the vehicle the entire time. A state police and SWAT gave chase. They were captured around 47th in the Dan Ryan. The car crashed around 47th Street with that fourth victim and four suspects pulled out of it. Age of the offenders ranged from 20 to 25. All four and their vehicle now in police custody, while the four victims ranging in age from 24 to 64 are being treated for injuries varying from serious to critical. The ordeal prompting baseball fans like Christian Rios to suggest better work needs to be done to block off the area around the ballpark, especially on game days. This area, um, every game is a lot of traffic. So it's like they should, they do need to fix that a lot because it's a lot of people that do be impatient and like want to just get home or wherever they want to go. And uh, it's very dangerous because there's also kids and stuff outside after these events. So it's, it's hard to see. Now we've checked in with the court system and with police today regarding those suspects. And all we've been told is that charges are pending. We're live at Guaranteed Rate Field, Ronald Tumulty. WGN News.